one. Hey everybody, this video is on how to do a battery heavy load test and uh, why you would perform one. So hopefully you watched my last video on how to perform an open circuit voltage test. The open circuit voltage test tells us the state of charge of the battery, but it's not telling us the battery's capability of actually putting out a current flow. Uh, the battery heavy load tester is actually gonna short inside, essentially short the battery to make it uh, produce a current or pull a current out of the battery here. Um, this tester here is our VAT40. This thing predates me, it's pretty darn old, but it's super useful still. Um, and it's sort of an analog tester, which is sort of nice. You can see everything that's going on. Um, this one next to it is the VAT45. It is a, a tad bit newer, uh, still an older tester. This one does everything for you. You answer a series of questions and it does all, all the testing for you. This one here, you have to do the testing um, and I'll talk about how to do that right now. Uh, they both do the same exact thing. I like showing my students on the VAT40 because it gives you a more interactive experience in understanding what the tester is actually doing. Uh, so that's pretty cool. So first things first, uh, you need to be able to have a battery that uh, has a decent charge on it already. If the battery is completely discharged, you cannot do this test. So make sure that you charge it up before you complete a battery heavy load test. If the battery is not charged, it will show fail every single time. Um, so let's talk about how to set up the tester. Uh, we've got two scales on here. We've got the volt scale and we've got an amp scale up here. There's a couple settings that we wanna make sure that we are on correctly before we do this test. Down here, we have a volt selector. We're gonna do internal 18 volts. Our field selector is gonna be off. And our test selector is going to be set on charging. So all these colors actually mean what scale on the gauges you're gonna use. So for starting, we've got red and green. Down here on volts, you can see we've got a green scale that we'll be using. And up here on amps, what used to be a red scale here that we'll go ahead and, and use. Uh, the leads that we are going to use on the tester are two large cables. They look like jumper cables. They're pretty easy to hook up, just like jumper cables, negative to negative. Um, and since this is not a battery charger, you can actually hook them straight up to the terminals here. Uh, the third is going to be our green lead, also known as our inductive lead. This one's gonna pick up amperage through a magnetic field that gets produced from the current. Um, but I'm not gonna hook that up yet because before I do, you notice now that I've hooked up our volt leads, we've got uh, voltage showing here. Um, up here for our amp scale, uh, if it wasn't set directly on zero, I do have a zero adjust. So let's say I hook everything up and my zero is off. I can go ahead and adjust my zero back to its perfect center. Uh, the reason I want to keep my inductive lead off for that is in case I do have a parasitic draw some, somewhere um, that could skew my zero. So we're going to zero it with the amp clamp off. Um, before I hook it up, there is an arrow on our amp clamp. On the old design, this is toward power, um, So, or I'm sorry, toward positive. So we'll go ahead and hook this up to our volts, or, or I'm sorry, our VAT40s tester here. If you accidentally hook it up backwards, uh, no big deal. It's just gonna show you negative numbers instead of positive, but the number will be the same. Um, but it's really important that this inductive lead gets hooked up to our VAT40s cable, not anything else for this test. Uh, now that we're all hooked up properly, um, what this tester is going to do is it's going to load the battery, but how does it know how much to load it to? On our battery, we have a, a rating called the CCA or cold cranking amps rating. And uh, if you look down here on the battery, we've got cranking amps, which is 530. And then over here, you can sort of barely see it, but cold cranking amps says 425. So for our battery heavy load test, uh, what we want to do is load the battery to half of the cold cranking amps. So somewhere along the lines of 210 amps is what we're really looking for. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load the battery with this knob up to the 210 that I'm looking for, and then I'm going to watch the voltage. So I control the amperage. It's the voltage that we're gonna watch. And what we wanna pay attention to is make sure that our battery does not go below 9.6 volts. If it goes below 9.6 volts during this test, it's going to fail. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. As we load the battery, this light's gonna come on, letting us know that it is in fact loading. You don't wanna do this for any more than 15 seconds because again, we are shorting out the battery. And so we are pulling a whole lot of current. Uh, we, we don't want to damage anything, the tester or the battery. During this time, you also don't want anybody hanging out around and above the battery um, simply because it is loading the battery. And if the battery does have a chance of exploding, it may do it during this time. Uh, so wear your safety glasses, make sure the battery is uh, free of anybody hovering over it. So let's go ahead and load our battery to about, oh, it's going backwards, so I had it backwards there. Okay, six. and we're down at eight volts here. So I don't even have to hold it for very long. It's already failed the test. Um, I would wanna go back, double check the charge on my battery and see where we're at um, because maybe the charge had dropped since I checked it. But uh, it's showing that this battery is in fact bad and would need to be replaced. Um, that is the old VAT40. Real quick, I will go ahead and show you guys the new VAT40. Um, in fact, actually, you know what? We'll make that a separate video because I'm gonna let this battery charge up real quick before we do our VAT45.